Are they finally getting ahead of it with these uh, changes to the privacy settings? Oh my gosh, no. They're so far <laughs> behind. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, there's not much. I was being there. polite, the, Brian. The, Go on, tell me why. <laughs> thank you. <I'm> glad. <laughs> So, no, I mean, I, it, it, it's, it is truly stunning that he's, uh, Zuckerberg, or Sandberg for that matter, are choosing not to go to the U.K. Uh, it's, it's good for them that they're going to testify in the U.S. I think it's kind of the bare minimum you would expect. But, uh, again, I, I can't understate how much bigger a deal this is in the U.K. right now uh, and it, because of what the implications are around what Facebook may or may not have done or aided or abetted unintentionally with respect to Brexit. Uh, and so the fact that you also had uh, one of their executives effectively lying, if not misleading, to be generous, uh, to a parliamentary uh, committee uh, last month about this matter, um, they're going to be out for blood. And so the absence of an appearance in the UK is yet another amazing, remarkable misstep by the company. James, big question, though, I, I guess for investors. It's a big story, a significant story for the UK, but does that make it a significant story for Facebook, given the UK share of of Facebook's revenue and Facebook's profits. Brian? Oh, if for me, yeah. So yeah. I think that this just keeps the story uh, in the news uh, for quite a while. And the other issue is that in the context of Europe, it's not about the UK specifically. This remains a European issue which is a bigger deal than the U.K. Um, both uh, the U.K. and Europe have the capacity to uh, uh, impact Facebook's businesses through taxes, through aggressive uh, uh, implementation of GDPR. Um, and that's kind of the big issue, whereas, uh, you know, uh, 10 days ago we would have said that, well, the GDPR would play out, it's probably negative, uh, you know, in general. Um, maybe the uh, European Union doesn't go straight for Facebook. Um, but now it's, it, they're just asking for a fine. Uh, and, yeah, it gets litigated. They don't pay it right away. Yeah. But aggressive implementation of GDPR across the region is the minimum that you would expect now. James Chagmack, we've laughed about them not being ahead of this. How can they get ahead of this? What do they need to do? I don't think they can get ahead of it. But I think when you look at it from a stock perspective, you've got to weigh the risk-reward associated with it. So you have three potential financial impacts from this. You have a U.S. fine, you have a fine overseas, and you have a potential fair tax uh, that will be instituted overseas as well um, for the big cap tech companies. So when you contemplate that and you take into account the multiple compression that we've seen in the stock, I think you can make the case that this is starting to get washed out a little bit here. At the $140 to $150 kind of support levels, I think, when you take into all those financial impacts into account. But when it comes to the, all of the, uh, the the, the regulatory issues facing the company, I yeah. think what that does is absolutely caps the potential multiple. We've seen a cap at, uh, uh, reach a peak at 17 times. It's come as low as 12, 11, 12 times. And if you look at the most regulatory scrutinized company, which is Google, I think you can make the case that it shouldn't trade below that. So these issues aren't going away. It's going to be a long time, and I think regulators need to find a, 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 a scapegoat, and I think Facebook will be that scapegoat, but I think you have to balance the risk and reward.